Hey guys, it's Bas Koyman, and today I'm doing a short recording uh, talking about the best webinars that you can do for your business. Um, if you have a business, basically it doesn't matter what kind of business, you can use webinars to involve more with your clients, to involve more with your prospects, to involve more with your people from your email list and your newsletter list and basically just all your contacts. So one of the great things about webinars now is that you're really able to get people with multiple, multiple people at the same time in one room, in one virtual room, and you're able to show them yourself, to show them your story, to share with them more information, valuable information, and you're able to share maybe a presentation so when you are normally meeting, uh, let's say a one-on-one -on -one, uh, customer, potential customer, I know that you have prepared a perfect PowerPoint or other software version of a presentation. And you're sitting there together, you're talking, you're doing the small talk first, and then just the question pops up, so what do you actually do? Or what are your products actually doing? And you have the whole story in your head. So. When you are basically going to explain everything, you probably will not lose, use your slides. You can say like, hey, okay, I have some slides prepared. You can put them on your laptop in front. Uh, but at the end, you are just presenting one on one. And if you don't use the slides, some people are really visual and they love your story. They will hear about your products. They will see your enthusiasm but they will not see the visual details and the numbers and everything in your PowerPoint. So what if we just move those one-on-one -on -one meetings into a maybe one-on-one -on -one webinar or a three-on-one -on webinar or a 30-on-one -on webinar because you are able to do the same talk with your whole audience at the same time, saving a lot of time for meetings, saving a lot of travel time to commute actually to the meeting locations uh, to have a running business from home. Uh, I don't think that having a business only from home is very positive. <laughs> we can talk about that in another video. But basically, you uh, want to do some things from your home or from your office to work in a more effective way using the technology of nowadays. So if you don't use webinars for your business yet, I want to give you seven small steps how to use a webinar and how to build up the webinar mostly. So how to get people to your webinar is in all kinds of different ways. Basically you organize a webinar and you would promote it like any other event you maybe promoted before. So you can post it on your social media, you can tell people, you can send out an email to your email list saying like Tuesday evening at seven o'clock we are hosting a webinar talking about our newest product and um, this is what I really want to show you. I hope you can register, click on the link. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I hope you can register, click on the link and, uh, and let's get started. So then when you have people coming to your webinar, it's very good to be a little bit earlier. So step one is to be early on your webinar and do some meet and greet with the early comers. So let's say your webinar starts at 7 p.m get on at 6.45, 6.10, as you normally would do in a meeting, being on time, let's say in your own office, in your meeting room to check if the room is ready. You can use those first people to say like, hey, how are you? Like a small talk on a maybe personal side, you see them coming in your webinar. And you can also say like, hey, can you see my screen? Is, can you see my video? Is everything configured well, etc." So at seven o'clock, step number two is to start on time. It's very, very important to start on time because some people will just come exactly at seven o'clock and they just expect you to start with your webinar. So start your webinar with a little introduction. And most important in the introduction, what I use is that I'm using a calendar, like an agenda to tell people what we are going to cover in the, in the, in the webinar. Step number three, is to tell your own story. So in your own story, it's very important to tell people to say like, hey guys, my name is Bas. I am an entrepreneur for 11 years. I am building IT and telecom business. At this moment, I'm a trader. 
I'm a full-time trader, I'm a professional trader, I'm teaching other people to trade, and I'm telling a little bit about my history regarding the topic that the webinar is about. Because this, this will give you the credibility and this will give you basically the um, yeah like the trust basically the trust feeling that people are saying like okay it's cool that this guy is going to teach me something but what did he do what did he like like okay cool like now i'm teaching you something about webinars but i'm doing like multiple webinars per week so i'm doing webinars with my team i'm doing webinars with prospects and i'm using the webinar software zoom for months and before that we used other software and we were constantly improving. We do recorded webinars, we do live webinars, we do all kinds of webinars. So I know from experience which webinars gave me a lot of value, which webinars that I got gave me a lot of value and the webinars that I gave gave me the most compliments or comments or people asking the most questions, having the most uh, effect basically. So you want to introduce yourself. Some people will say, just please go directly to the topic. They'll go directly to the information that we want to share. Those people are probably not going to buy from you. They are just there to just get the information and they will not buy. They will just move on. They are a little bit selfish, if I can say. And they are really not interested in you, in your, in your story. They will not take the information and they will definitely, probably not buy from you. So do this part and take some time for this part. I think the total time of a webinar, it's very good to be uh, around 45 minutes. So I, I'm a little bit on early, then I'm using this introduction time. And then step number four is actually the content. And the content itself, one of the most important things is to just go all in. Give everything you have, give all your nuggets, give all your best tips. The biggest mistake that people make with webinars trying to sell something else afterwards, let's say they want to sell an online course, let's say they want to sell a book or an ebook or whatever. If you are keeping your nuggets to yourself or saying that they will need to buy it and then they will get more and better information, you're kind of on the wrong path. The more you give, the, the more all in you go in giving them everything you have, all your value, in my case, I do a lot of trading strategies. I'm, I'm trying to educate people on the things that I'm doing, the things that are helping me to make money. And if people are coming to those free sessions, they are more likely to sign up for a course, learning it from basics to this advanced level and uh, getting their personal coaching. So they can not only come to one or two webinars per week, but they can actually have me as a coach every day or have a few of my professional coaches from my team that they can go to every day in their local language and be able to communicate with them. So you go all in on your information, you go all in on your best tips, your best nuggets, your best product part, and then later you will show that. So a few things that I also really like to do in the content is to give people a certain amount of steps what they can do after this webinar. So let's say I'm explaining you a trading session. What is very good to do is to say like, okay, these are the exact steps. You now got all the content, you got all the value, you know how to do it. So the next step would be to tomorrow, nine o'clock at London time opening to try it. To tomorrow at three o'clock European time when New York opens to try it. And to take this step by step, go for a certain amount of pips, go for a certain amount of money. If you are talking about billing systems in telecom, I always told people, I will send you a demo after the webinar. Please tomorrow test it. The day after that, connect one of your phones to connect and to see how it's going and then run an invoice to see how the billing software actually works. So give them a step-by-step -step action plan, what they can do after the webinar and how they can try the value that they, you actually gave to them. So step number five is that you actually go making a transition to the close. So the transition to the close is basically that you are going to explain them the problems that you can solve and, and all the extra nuggets of the content that you want to share before actually closing them. That they, they need to start using what you have learned. And then they have this action plan, they have the steps and then your content part is finished. This total part of content, whatever you want to talk about, should be around 20, 30 minutes. 
So you had your introduction part. First you were early. That's like five, 10 minutes with the early uh, people that come on the call. Then it's like five, 10 minutes to actually do a proper introduction and your own story to get the credibility. Then uh, after you created some trust, you go into your content part, which is 20, 30 minutes. You get ready for the close and then you close it. The closing part is simply to show what problem you can solve. What did they already learn? What did they already, uh, what, what they already have been taught by you? And what is going to be solved if they actually buy your product? So for my case, as an example, you are using a trading strategy. I'm teaching you one of them on the webinars. And I hope that they gave you all the value. You can ask your, your uh, people in the webinar as well. Like, is the, what did you got most value out of this webinar? And you get this, all these reactions. And basically, the product will be to coach, to be coached every day and to get 35 other strategies. So we have like 35 strategies on short term. We have seven, eight strategies on long term. We have a long term harmonic scanner to help you with all the trades. This is the product explanation and the closure is for 120 euro per month, $150 per month. You will get all the products, you will get all the education and you get a personal coach to do this with you every day and to be able to trade within three to eight months as a full time trader. So I'm solving your problem that you don't have enough money at the end of the month and that you want to leave the job that you don't like. So you solve the problems with a certain product and a certain price. Uh, if you have, and this is a very good thing to have as a company, if you have a product uh, guarantee, if you have uh, any guarantees, if you have any people that already in our case graduated after eight months and quit their job and make a full-time income as a trader, if you can get them on your webinar to shortly share their experience, that's great. If you can record that as a short video and you can play it if your webinar software allows that, to just say like, hey guys, let's just listen to one of our top students that left after eight months doing a great job in learning how to trade, now trading full time, and then you play the video. So this would be a very extra nice part of your closing. Then take five to 10 minutes maximum, depends on how much questions there are, for a question and answer, a Q&A session. Answer people's questions, get them into engaging. Uh, if they had a lot of value, if you give them a lot of value, they should also have some questions. Uh, mostly if you teach somebody, somebody something new, they will have some questions. So this is a very, very good thing. Take a little moment for question and answers. And then finally, step number seven is to close it off. So you want to thank everybody for coming. You want to ask them what was the most valuable thing in the webinar, get them engaged, put the, something in the comments, put something in the, in the comments bar on the webinar. Uh, shortly tell them what you have covered. So you just give them a very, very short summary of all the content that you have been through. Uh, ask them and say to them, I hope you got value and please take action with everything you learned from today. I wish you a great day. Thank you and goodbye. And then you close off the webinar. So these are the seven steps that all the professionals use. These are the, these are the seven steps that uh, the professional webinars are built off. And this is a, a few steps that actually helps you to have a successful webinar where people first understand you, they get value in, uh, in the content part, they, you tell them of course your product and price, you give them the option to answer any questions and then you finish it off asking them to take action into what they have learned or of course take action into buying your product and taking it to the next level. So this is how you can do a webinar. Just to close off for today's video, a little, uh, if you have email lists uh, building, if you are at this moment a online marketeer, just an idea on how webinars can influence your business. If you have around 10,000 people in your email list, as an example, 10% of the people from your email list that you sent an email, probably you will have like a 10% open rate. If you have a higher percent open rate already, that's great, maybe 20 or 30%, but let's stick with just 10%. So your 10,000 uh, people you sent an email to, 1,000 people will actually open the email and click on the registration. 
then from registration around 30 percent of people show up so just don't be feeling bad don't feel bad if you have like 100 registration links and just 30 people actually come to your webinar it all depends also on announcing the webinar so the moment that your your webinar software um, uh, sends also an email like 10 minutes before the webinar half an hour before the webinar to remind people that they are registered for a certain webinar but ex at the beginning just expect around 30 people 30 percent so 30 people to show up in this example uh, from that a 10 percent sale is really doable so if you start again, 10,000 people in your list, let's say 1,000 open your email, 100 register for the webinar, 30 will show up, and from 30 you can make three sales. So this is very good. There's also webinar automation software that you can run a webinar, record it once and it keeps running. You can build it into your email flows, you can build it behind your Facebook ads, etc. Um, if you have any questions regarding this, or if you got any value of this video, please leave it uh, in the comment box. If you have any questions, please do the same. I will be able to get through all the comments and I will get to answer your questions. And if it's a big question with a big topic, I will probably record the next video for it. So thank you very much for watching uh, and I hope to see you soon on the next video.